I'm in that outback, so let's just drive around. Let's just, let's just do our usual stuff. No time to waste, we might as well just get into the off-roading portion of this episode. Quite high power for what is it? For a little, uh, Man, strongest animal take the jump, and of course he can. And you, you can do that too. Yep. That, that's really interesting, right there. This this is interesting. That's real interesting there. And if you're wondering what I'm driving, this is the Bentley Bentayga. It's the first vehicle in alphabetical order, and I'm just going to drive off the cliff. Or off the hill, rather. Now, to move on, we might as well go to the next portion of this DLC, and it's taking a while to fast travel. No surprise. Now to go on to our second vehicle. And yes, I might as well just tell you what vehicles are in here because I didn't do that. I already sort of on the proofed myself. So here's everything that's in here. The Bentega, which is an A-Class, it has almost 600 horsepower, and it's actually one of the faster sport utility heroes. The BMW i8, which is one of the most requested cars in the history of the game. The Ford F-150 Trophy Truck. The Ford Falcon XA GTHO, meaning there are two Fords in this DLC. The Nissan Skyline GTS-R, or the R31. The Radical RXE Turbo and the Volvo V60 Polestar. Now, of course, we're going to go into the most like requested vehicle in Forza history. If you go to the forums, you probably have seen all those posts saying BMW i8. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's going on here. So of course this is a 300 horsepower vehicle and a lot of people requested it so here's me driving around in I-8. I could say this is a modern reinterpretation of the M1 if you really wanted to. If you don't know what that is, it's like an old 80s BMW. And there goes one just as I crash into a wall. Brilliant. I see. Yeah, it's also available in silver. I went for the black. Went for the sort of weird dark look. Rifts. No, that's not happening. That isn't happening with traffic. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, it, it, it could happen if there wasn't as much traffic as there was. See, I could get rips going on, but I just decide there's no there's no purpose for this. It's an I-8. Most requested thing in the history of Forza. Like, one of the most requested things in the history of Forza. And yes, this is what the interior looks like. A bunch of orange gauges. I've seen a lot of pictures of this. I can see myself driving it. Yeah, see, it does have a bit of a slidey idea behind it. Moving on, we have our third vehicle, which is something a force to be reckoned with. To, be, to start with, it is a force to be reckoned with. I almost performed 4.5 thousand of those ultimate skills, but that's not important to the stream, guys. We're going to go a little further. Garage. Anyway, going on to Ford, which requires a lot of presses of the RB button, we find ourselves with our first of two Fords. This is a 2014 Ford F-150 trophy truck. It's all enough for an older F-150 besides the fact that it's 2014. This thing came out in 2014 and it looks like an older F-150. A lot of the, a lot of these monster trucks or whatever have spinning fans, like actual working fans. Just look at this. Let's listen to it. Oh, it has horrible hands, like, it can't even stay on the ground. Wow. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Yes, what am I doing wrong? I, sorry, I ate. I did not mean to bump into you. But I must continue on the path or trajectory I was going on. Unlike most people, in the, at least. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm getting carried away. There you go. There we go, now I'm... Just, I'm just in the middle of the outback all of a sudden. I just, I just like just doing this for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's... Yep. This is just fun. I, I don't know why. It's just so fun to just screw around with these types of... Baja trucks, and I just jumped over a one. Just, I'm just doing my best here to just. Oh wow. The perfect opportunity. The perfect opportunity to change a car without having the fast travel. 
Yay, I don't have to fast travel. Well, here's our next Ford. Because I hope you guys like Fords, because this is our next Ford. And I hope you guys like Falcons, because this is our next Falcon in the DLC. We've had like several Falcons as DLCs. If I DXR in one of my earlier videos on this game. And now we get another look at a classic. The XAGTHO. It looks similar to the XY, except it's faster. Has at least 110 more horsepower. And it does and it sacrifices a spoiler and it's it looks like it's at a higher ride height. <laughs> Is this supposed to be any better than the XY? Hmm, let's find out. Yeah, if you've seen the backstory to this, it's supposedly the one of the only cars to not have like a an actual seat belt, and since Australian government wanted to shut down this project, that wasn't actually ever a production car. But you can buy it one of many colors for whatever reason, despite there only being one of production in the real world. I bought this in the unique white and blue two-tone. Interesting. I don't know why I keep going off-road when I should be more or less focused on the road. Oh no, maybe because there's actually a better purpose for on-road type of vehicles. Yeah, I guess I'll be on the road for a second, but yeah, off-road gameplay is just a little weird. I don't want to do f stupid stuff. I don't care for their sense. I don't care. Leave me alone. I want to do my video. Upsetting roots to me. For me, when I really feel like I have better things to do. I r yep. There's no other way to see a falcon just going through, like, water, I guess, and just off-roading as if it were a Baja car, unless you go to the stream. It's just, it's just so weird. Yeah, and eventually crash into a tree because I'm about to go to another festival hub. I have no idea why I haven't broadcasted Blizzard Mountain yet. I might do a video review on it instead of just doing a live stream. It would probably be a lot more interesting to just do a video review. If you're watching this on YouTube, just let me know in the comment section what what you'd want to see from me. Like, if you'd want a video review of Blizzard Mountain, because, yeah. Anyway, the next car, I guess, judging by this tab right here, is the Nissan, so we're going to have to scroll a lot. Nissan. And... Uh, it's right there. There it is. There we go. And the, the, this thing. Yes. Yes, this is a, this is a real thing. It wasn't Gran Turismo 4. If you played Gran Turismo 4, 5, or 6, you may remember this car. You may remember this. This is the R31 GTSR. Yes, I already found the barn find. Which if I end up getting interrupted again during the stream, I'll be sure to forewarn the audience that this is a spoiler. Because there is a bit of a spoiler in this video, maybe. I don't know. I'll just focus on this though. This is apparently a, hum a homogation thing that was 
far more popular than it ever be. There we go. Spoiler alert. Is ready to go. Come on down. Yes, this that was a spoiler. That was the spoiler tag. This is supposed to be like a track car. Like a the road version of the R31 track car and yeah, that game sort of froze on me for a second. And of course, I crash into a Sylvia S13. No, that yeah, that was an S13. That was yeah, this is the interior. It looks sort of basic, but it, again, expect I'm expecting that sort of stuff from an 80s Japanese sports car. I'm sure someone would make a drift could make a drift tune out of this or a track tune because this is a track homologation prototype that became more popular than it was. It was anticipated to be, so I guess let's go from homologation of a car to road legal track car. And I think I went to the wrong place. Eh, whatever. I always go here for whatever reason. Give the fast travel the destination load a bit of time. This, the next car you're going to see is a Radical, which it, Radical hasn't been in a Forza game since Horizon 1. If you've played that game, it was like a SR8, I think it was called. There was that car. That, it was in the original Horizon, but it's not the same car that you're, that you're about to see. It's kind of strange. It's the Radical RXC, that's what it's called. Yeah, RXC. I got a blue RXC. Don't judge me. And yes, I chose the Outback for no reason, but this thing has an Eco Boost. GT. I'm not going to go straight this time. I'm going to go to the left. Yes, this... I'm having trouble driving this thing because there's so many people around here. And yeah, I've heard this thing has like so much downforce. I mean, I can take a turn at like no, apparently not. This is a this was not meant to be an off-road segment. And this was not meant to be an off-road segment. And of course, we have one last vehicle to show you, but I'll give this thing the benefit of the doubt here. I want to see how, much, how well this thing. Yeah, if you if you master this car, you could really do some really good stuff with this. You can make this even more track friendly. Yeah, you can't really turn at high speeds. So, like the description on the site claims, you can. You can't even do that. You can't even. You can take wider turns, but not even like sharper bank turns. They're not even possible with this unless you really have to slow down. Of course, there's one last thing I have to show off on this live stream. And 
There's the Blizzard Mountain plug again. Anyway, this is a Volvo V60 pull star. There's already an S60 pull star, but it's interesting to see that this is in the game. Now if I can get into my cars. There we go. And yeah, if I want to go to the last few layers of the alphabet, I can just go back like that. I can save time and effort, I guess. Trying to get myself to prepare. Maybe that's what I should start doing. Anyway, this is the V60. A cross, like, sort of station wagon. This is what it looks like from the interior, and I... I think it's been a while since I've driven a Volvo on stream. Let's just see if I can still perfect this thing. I'm not going to challenge you, you look too hard for this vehicle. And as I crash into the wall. That's just great. It just drives as your average Volvo Polestar vehicle would, to be honest. Let's see if it can drift. Oh, it can. Uh, it can drift. I think every vehicle in this game has more of a tendency to drift. Yeah, this thing can do some serious... Yeah, I mean, that, was, that was close, actually. That was pretty good nose. That was actually pretty close. And of course, I guess I'll do a little bonus clip, I guess. A little bonus part of the video. I went through the trouble of finding this barn find before stream, and what you're about to see is the finished product of it. And this is kind of a spoiler alert for those who haven't discovered it yet, so be warned, I guess. It's another Volvo, by the way. Just. Uh, yeah, it's a Volvo. 1800E. There it is, Volvo 1800E. Fuel injected engine, 130 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 9.6 seconds. Oh, yep. and it's the car Roger Moore drove in the Saint. Yep, you heard that right. Yep, so I guess that's the barn find. I'll go ahead and do it off, drive this thing off stream and. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the main contents of this stream, and and as always, I'll do my little drill mode outro, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. We, I think I'm free now. Pretty sure I'm free. This thing goes on forever, so I guess I should go now. Bye. And now to end the stream properly.